very first thing here is uh, Mocha is not looking too good, is he? No, I'm at full health. I raged, healed. Well, yeah, now it, you may be feeling good, but you're not looking good. <laughs> oh yeah, about that. I was gonna skip. Right, so, so uh, let's let the um, you know healer over here. Let's take a look at him. Look at this uh, thing, man! What what is this? Let's crack the fingers here. All right. What are you looking at? My liver. Oh. My liver. Yeah, she turned Mooka into an ugly guy. Uglier. All right. Yeah. Mooka's ugly. All right. Father Xanthus. Like, like to speak to Garam. Get down on my knees. Garam, your faithful servant beseeches your aid. In the battles of darkness, we fought a servant of Lamashtu, that defiling creature. A great companion of ours stood in the lip of danger, did not cringe, did not shy back, and held her off in mortal combat. However, as the gods of weakness tend to be, cursed him with this this abomination you see before you. I ask, Garam, as your faithful servant, okay, to, to cleanse him of this, to heal him of this, and show that Lamash too holds no power over the strength of Garam. Take the holy symbol and channel positive energy. All right. So, Matt, I want to take Tango back here and uh, do a perception check to see if there's anything, you know, in the wall here, like a perhaps a secret entrance, anything like that. While you do that, bright light fills the room and shines from the insides of Mooka. His being is encompassed in light, shining through his skin. And sunlight pours out from those afflicted wounds. And they are burnt off and fall off. And, and now, Mooka is fully cleansed. Thank you, Karam. Oh. That uh, was a, my friends. a beautiful p prayer, Karal. A uh, very uh, Roxy, Roxy. Oh, okay. touching, yes. Um. Mm -hmm. So what Roxy, was it? Uh, um, Tangle. What were you doing? Sorry. Uh, I'm uh, doing a perception check on the wall behind the uh, pool. Oh, uh, um, it's... looking for anything hidden. Um, uh, you don't really find anything hidden at all. It just. It just seems like, uh, yeah, you don't really find anything. Might be, yeah, okay, I just thought there might be, like, a room back there yeah, no, or something not. like that. Sorry. Um, it's just a little outcropping of stone by it that uh, pours out into okay. the sun. Um, <laughs> not, not the celibate monk type, I see. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, you Roxy missed this. Oh, this weird that session was that very Roxy, special. Uh, Roxy <laughs> pulls out the uh, holy symbol of a mosh too and puts it on the ground, and she's like, "Crawl, if you would do the honors." Hey, Let's smash it up! You're trying to destroy my you trophy. You did, you did appraise it and find out that it's worth a hundred gold pieces. Just, no, 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 not the, not the shelter on ruin, the the whole uh, New Orleans. Uh, Lamash two symbol. Lamash yeah, two. that that one's worth hundred gold pieces. You appraise that. Not anymore. It's not. not well, anymore. Hey, go, yeah. gold is worth gold, right? Sa sacrifice. Yeah, let's smash it into a sheet. Well, use your mace or something like that. I, I'm just looking to give Gold's it a, a slice of striking blow. All right, you all um, means. Give me. Yeah, you 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 are with enough effort, you are able to destroy it. <sighs> 
<laughs> All right, well, what about Quadruel? I mean, he did kind of, you know, duel her for a couple of minutes there. I'm, I'm just going to play. Up. It was like 12 to 18 seconds tops. I fucking ended them all. Whenever Crawl does something. <laughs> he didn't, I'm just saying. It was like three rounds. Right? Fucking killed the dog, fucking killed her. Actually, when she healed herself, I think... I was really nice to her, so she was like, all right, fine, I'll just heal myself rather than destroy you right now. So that was kind of cool. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that all played out. Um, but I am low on on uh, key energy right now, and I, I would like to restore my key if we, unless we're going to go back to town or something like that. But if we were to... Head up the door store. and pass out here. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to travel back and forth, and we can keep... Guards, so we can hear if anything's like scurrying about or whatever. Okay, so give me an order of what you are keeping guard. Uh, I'll I'll take the first shift with Muka. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, I am pretty sure that I can't stay guard because I, I need eight hours non-stop to replenish key, I think. So let, let me double check on that real quick. Just one minute. For sure, mine just day rollovers, which is awesome. Of course, you know, only one of you has to stay up, like, at a time. Uh, here, here, Rox, Roxy's like, you know, funny story. About, uh, three weeks ago now, I was ambushed by goblins and one of the little buggers you know kind of whacked me upside the head with a, some kind of mace or something lost a lot of memory there including quite a bit of my spells but i'm sorry i think most of it's back by now just maybe one more night of rest and yeah another night of rest so, Kevin and Muka. Uh, met, 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 met a game. Uh, Roxy learned about like four spells last level. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So, we already discovered who's first, who's next. Roxas will. Roxas can Tangle. join with Tangle. All right. So, Roxas and Tangle. Yeah. And then I'll, I can just, I'll go alone. I really, I don't know, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. Yeah, Roxy's the only character that needs eight hours of dead yeah. rest and then another 15 minutes of concentration. But okay. Crawl just pr- prays at a certain point in the day and gets his magic. All right, nothing happens. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. you all wake up uh, refreshed as much as you can be on the floor of uh, the marble floor that you slept on. We didn't bring the pillows. I, I have just bed rolls. <laughs> I had a bed roll. Well, yeah, so. I assume everyone has bed they're, rolls. Yeah. They're, 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 bed they're chairs. They're chairs. They're not satin sheets, but you know. And no, I got like, uh, I got, like skins in my bag I would have used bloody blankets. Yep. Day eight. We day could eight. sleep on a, a bed of goblin ear. Mm-mm. So Muka's gonna happen some rations and share them around and propose we go through the south door and just figure out here. All right. All right. Roxy agrees. Well, we, uh, oh, I guess I should get rid of my little five number there, huh? Eight is probably over at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone who has the temporary hit points... You no longer have them because Coral's spell is over. So, and you regen some life from the quadrule. Uh, can I can I get a heal if at all possible? Yeah. Remember, if you are injured, you heal your level and hit points. Oh, oh, oh it's your and um, nice. who is it? Tangle, you slept. Yeah. So heal one of those ability damage. Okay. And yeah, uh, that's uh, that's what I need to go over this. I had to set up my spell. Line. And you also, know. Muka, your all your ability to damage is cured because of Coral. So, yep, yep, I recorded that last time. Uh, so, nice uh, prayer. What's your what's your um, con- was it Constitution, Jessa? 
Yes, it was. What, what are you at now? Like negative? Negative one okay, modifier. So, okay, yeah. So you... She would be at a nine. So, uh, okay. she recovered, she's recovered two, and then the lesser yeah. restored gotcha. one. Yeah, gotcha. All right, so that's not bad. Um, awesome. So, we can, I, can I get the heal? Just everyone remember to yeah. take away the, the, uh, the five temporary hit points. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. I lost yeah, let me, uh, that let also. Me quick, right. wacky with the wand. Me too. When I thought I got hit with a seven. Oh, do we, do we have more people who need healing? No, just squad. Just squad? All right. I assume 36 is the max. Roxas now, Roxy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I just I just changed it to um. Rox- Roxas is thirty six. Roxy is thirty five. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You just you just She's changed just... one value when you when you uh, change your hit point value total. You need to change both values, like the current and the max. Otherwise, the like health bar like goes past what it's supposed to be. So. I have to do under the character. I just sheet. changed it, so it's all good. So, uh, Muka, you open the door. Yes, I do. And it is a hallway. It's a very nice hallway. It is a very oh, short uh, hallway. Oh, I, I cast light on Muka's axe. It lasts for about 50 minutes. So. Right. Plus, the quadrille okay. all, all has a torch of ever burning or something like that. Yeah, I always carry it. I mean, do, do we really need it? Because I, I can have both my hands for you. It would be kind of nice. Do, do you guys that. want me to carry it or no? We got like 57 sources of light, man. All right, I'll put it away. Quadul puts it up his sleeve for easy retrieval later. Nice. Rock, Rock, he's like, actually, I, I can hold it. I only need one hand to cast my spells. I I can always pull it back out. I'd rather just keep it. You, I think Roxas has one too, doesn't he? We put, uh, or Muka does. We, I don't know. Yeah, I got one. There's an extra somewhere. Every, I, th- I think, yeah. All right. How does it look, Muka? All right, Muka. It's pretty Here's good. what you see. Um, you open that door, and the southern wing of this L-shaped hallway ends at a pair of stone doors carved with depictions of two skeletons reaching out to clutch a skull between them. While to the east, the hallway narrows down to frame a circular carving of what seems to be an immense stack of tens of thousands of gold coins that rise from floor to ceiling. The edges of these coins are carved with tiny spiky runes. Uh-huh. Tangle. Quadril Mother's traps. <laughs> yeah, so we'll walk in here ever so gently and ask the people that are familiar with magic to look at the gold coins that are floating. Wait, where, here. Which way are the coins here? Or here? In the middle. They're right here in the middle. Oh, in the middle. Right. Uh, okay, Roxy's going to focus on with the tech magic. Okay, um, it does seem magical. <laughs> does an 18 spellcraft reveal anything? No, it is. It is an. No, um, but someone can make a perception check. Oh, Roxy. Knowledge history would help or no? Angle. No, just perception. Okay. Tangle would probably be best. She has like. Perception. Miss Tangle. I'm gonna try I think we lost our Jessa. Over. Yeah. Since I walked in and saw it. <laughs> Quadrule is still in amazement over the yep. fact that his herpes have disappeared. It wasn't oh my, my herpes, man. It was freaking Buka's <laughs> herpes. Or whatever was itching him. I don't know. I banged the new daughter, too. Okay. Yeah. That was a fun time. <laughs> And then I went and had a drink with him after my best bro banged him. Banged him. <laughs> that was good. Good times. At least I got my one out of the way on something silly, right? Tangle, we need you. Roll perception. Okay, roll perception. This is a trap, where, right? Wait, wait. Where the heck is everybody? <laughs> Down to the south. Down here. There's some this, gold coins, like some Indiana Jones-style shit going on here. The green ring is a pile of oh, coins okay. that we assume is trapped. So if you could check it out for us. Absolutely. With my handy high you, you have to move form. your character. Yep, yeah, cool. She's got it. All right. 
Oh, that's kind of crappy. It's all right. It's pretty good. <laughs> 13. Holy shit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you got better eyes than I. <laughs> So yeah, uh, you can you, see a hot notice, pee at fifty feet. <laughs> you don't really notice anything that uh, the part party hasn't really noticed either. So okay, but there are some doors to the south. Quadril is uh, willing to do whatever. I'll, I'll grab it. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, if if it's a trap. I think it'll be quick enough to to get out of the way. Uh, it seems like a lot of gold to pass up. What do you guys think? Why don't you throw something in there? I mean, that's a pillar there is that circle, right? Or is that a, a that's door? A, it's a pile of gold. Is all that's just know. the pile there? The, the, no, right. there's basically... There, it's, it looks like a stack of oversized coins. Like, extremely uh, okay. oversized. And that's like, that. like a five-foot coin, you know? Um, oh, okay. The, like a stack, like a roll of quarters, except, like, expanded. You got anything to throw at it? With spiky... Oh, I've got edges. I've got a shuriken I can throw at it. All right, let's so, all quadril. let's all pull out of this room in case this thing That's fires at idea. us. Yeah. And uh, quadro will stay in the room for now because I have to throw a shuriken at it. So yeah, why don't you, why don't you get where Roxas is right now and just uh, throw something at it and jump in, just in case. I'll hold back a little bit here. Right. So you throw something in there. Well, just a second. We're not where we want to be yet. Roxas needs to move here. He, Quadro kind of nudges the kitty. And right. so from the open doorway, I reach in, grab a shuriken, and just throw it right at the gold pile. All right, and it dings off. All I right. Go, I, no go retrieve, I go retrieve my shuriken. I come back, and I walk up to it. I take my big ogre fingers and try and, like, get a like a lip of one of the coins and start to pull on it to see if I could start pulling it out from the pile. I, right. I don't want to go for Make the strength check. Make a ready in action. Make a strength yeah. check. And you're ready in action, Luca? Yeah. What are you doing? It's just, what it's just the mod, right? Crazy shit that goes on. Okay. Just my mo ability yes. mod. Yes. Yeah. Darn right. it. You are not able to pull the gold coin out. I back up and let Muka and I kind of show him the way. All right, and, uh, uh, and I'm, I I have my fists ready to I'm ready to go. Rage moment. Let's let's pull out of any type of line of sight with this thing. <laughs> I don't want to see smart. it. Nineteen. <laughs> nope. Same thing. I'm gonna try again, I guess. Why don't you two work together on one? Can you like aid me or something? Fucking A. All right, nope. there's another one. No. Nope. I'll just assume you guys take 20 and you spend a couple hours. Yeah, that's fine. Um, by the way, Quadrule, uh, unless Roxy, you don't have Mage Arm anymore because you slept. So reflect that in your character sheet. Okay. Roxy, will you pass uh, Mage Armor? Oh, right. Roxy walks in, touches him, Mage Armor walks, <laughs> and leaves. Right. So it's just kind of default. So you spend a couple hours doing this, and you, the party looks on in, in bewilderment and boredom as, <laughs> as a monk and a barbarian just go at it, and together they are not able to pull any of the coins out. Oh, wow. oh man. But doing so, right, they have come uh... to a deduction that this is these are not really gold coins. Well... <laughs> they, they they must not be gold coins. Ro Roxy's so like, so can I like, uh, so all right. So. Oh, I think we know that's safe. What if I hit one? I my... have an idea. Tangle, would you come here for a minute? Yeah, I was wondering if I could, like, if if appraising it would uh, do anything to kind of tell what it was. Um, if it was Good. gold, then absolutely. Okay. Well, we don't we but and we don't know it's not gold. We just know it's not coins, That's or true. we know it's That's not gold true. too. You no, know it's not. You no, know it's not. It must not be any type of coins. All right. Well, then I'm gonna praise it and see what happens, and then after that, I'm gonna. Right. Would a perception check allow me to kind of maybe get a better idea of what it could be? You did um, that. Yeah, you can if you want to take twenty doing perception check and. Spend a couple more hours doing that. 
I intimidate um, the girl. Okay, well, let's... Tell me what it is. <laughs> let's appraise right. it first. Ooh. All right, you appraise it, and it looks extremely valuable. Tens of thousands of gold pieces. Uh, worth tens of thousands of gold piece, pieces. This okay, a... and then I want to uh, cast a perception to see if I can figure out... Oh, uh, you don't need to, because if, if you're going to take 20. Oh, okay. Taking 20 just means so you can spend all the time you can, basically, um, to figure something out. Since okay. you guys are so obsessed with this, this yeah. killer. Yeah, um, well... You take 20 and a couple more hours pass by. Um, you probably have, like, one hour left on your mage armor, Zach. Um, just so you know, Zach. The thing is, Roxy is going to... Whenever, if you tell me when an hour passes, she'll cast it on me again. I, I don't think we're gonna have me go I'm into just, that. Hour I'm just letting it, you so. know, but um, yeah. like a good amount of hours have uh, come along, and then finally, Tangle, you get an you get a an eureka moment <laughs> as like you those. notice that there are two slots on the edge, on the left and right edges of the pillar. That are about the size of a gold coin. Mm hmm. So I'm going to move here. Uh oh. That's, that's the battery. <laughs> Quadro will stand by uh, just in case. Okay. So um, she says, Roxy, Roxy, come here. Look at this. Look at these two slots on either side. Roxy pulled uh, up they, a they shelter look... pawn thing. Maybe this has something to do with it. Is there a slot big enough? The no, it is, it is the size of a, a gold coin. Both slots. Oh, are. okay. Well, well since... Tangle takes one her her uh, dagger or rapier, whichever one would be thinner, and gently sticks it in the hole and probes the hole. <laughs> All right. Are, are we still talking? You are probing hey. the hole with your dagger. Yes. Um, the dagger is, you know, as far as broad broadness goes. Um, the your dagger gets sucked into it, but is not able to completely go away. And you hear a he a large cheek sound, and the handle of the dagger falls away, leaving no blade behind. Whoa! I'll pull out a pair of gold coins. <laughs> chuck one over to uh, Roxy. Let's do a three-two-one here, and uh, right. the coins on there. Three, two, one. You do that, and you hear a large clunk, and the pillar starts shaking as if unmoved for hundreds of years. And <laughs> dust and rock start falling from the ceiling, and the pillar um, goes down into the floor, revealing a hidden, some hidden rooms behind it, which I accidentally showed you earlier. Nice. <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> Tangle's pissed about her dagger. <laughs> I think Quadril has one. Let me see. Step in. And it seems for a Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Roxy pulls out a, a dagger from her pack, and she's like, "This belongs to the belongs to the belong to the wizard, the area thing. Here, take it." Thanks. <laughs> well. Really, I just had a dagger laying around, and the, <laughs> the, we weren't going to get any money for it, so per, it's perfect. So, <laughs> right. After many hours of of frustrating uh, brute strength, and then Tangle's attempts to uh, find out what the hell it is, you all you are able two. to, and of course, Coral's brilliant strategy to put two coins in the two <laughs> coin-sized slots. You are you are <laughs> able to uh, move on to the next room. All right. There well, are now Roxy's got... th there are now three doors in this room and a door to the south in the other room. So, all right. Why don't we uh, why don't we pit in this one up? If it yeah. all right. the ugly one with the crazy check skeleton at, at with the, the north hands door. coming out. Yep, we should do all that. Right. So perception okay. check at the north door. Okay, absolutely. Um. You perceive, and all these doors are very heavy stone, but your elven ears seem to be able to pierce slightly 
then find out what's in the next room, and it seems to just be nothing but silence. Okay. There, and then I'll do one also. Uh, there's two doors at the north, and then also one at the uh, this one I'm standing in front of. This one East here. And south. Yep. Yeah. Um, here's another one for yeah. those. Roxy's like, nice. you know what? I'm I'm gonna put this put this little trick to the uh, one tangle and stuff that door. All right. And then one for that right. one too. This this is one. Um, you oh. you hear the sound, the roaring, a roaring flame on the other side of this door, the south. The south. The south, the south one. Yeah, the east door. I hear noise one. behind the south door. It sounds like, oh, uh, I believe it. It sounds like a fire. Uh, it's, a it's fairly large breathing. one. Sorry. <laughs> Like, is the Ooh. fire? Is the I touch the door? Is the door warm? Is the fire close to the door? Is it? Is it's it? It's not really. Just in... I mean, it's not really warm per se. Mm hmm Okay. Um. So it's just yeah, it's not warm. It's just it's not warm. Okay. All I right. have an I I have an idea. I'm going to turn invisible and inspect the door, each room. So it can be the last level. The door is still going to open. The, the doors. Okay. For the. Yeah. Doors to the south, by the way. Um, oh, are wait, made I, of I, stone, but bear no handles. An indented outline of a seven-pointed star, its shape covered by hollows and slits, grace the spot where the handles should be. The M that you smashed. Hold the hold the no. uh, medallion no, up to was, it. That, that was for Lamash, dude, not the shoulder on. Yeah, I didn't break yeah. that one. That's all good. The Sheridan. Put the Sheridan out to it. Uh, Roxy cast detect magic on it. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's a definitely um, all right some type of spell on the doors. I'm gonna gently poke it with the shoulder on, and then take a step back, and I'm gonna ready a spell. My lady, if I could switch with you, by all means. And nothing happens to the door as you all eagerly brace the uh, opening <laughs> doors, awaiting eagerly. But <laughs> alas, a minute passes by and everyone just kind of looks at each other. And the amulet fit in there all perfectly and whatnot? Um, not quite. Well, uh... That's uh, to it, try and pry the doors that way. I'd like to actually just kind of run my hands around the door, see if I can... And see anything odd about the stonework itself. Right. Uh, perception's not great for me. I don't know if you want me to roll it or if you want to roll. Um, you don't find anything. Uh, there's, and Zach, or I mean Quadrule, um, you are not able to pry the door open either. Uh, do dang. do the other doors have the same markings? No, or are they, no, they're just doors. Okay. They have handles. They're, Let's yes, go check those first. Right, so we'll come back to this door. We'll find Muka, it north door. Yeah, okay, the, the north door. door. Go ahead and open it, Muka. Or I'll open it. I don't care. Okay. Let's just move. That's a door. <laughs> One second. Okay, this barren room, room contains an upraised da dais on which sits a marble throne. To either side stand statues of a man clutching a book and a glaive. A ghostly figure seems to be seated in the throne, an image of the same man who appears in the statues. He seems to be addressing an audience as he moves his hands about, his fingers decorated with hooked rings. But the words issuing from his uh, phantom mouth are difficult to make out, and in a strange language, uh, and, uh, are they Roxy, Roxy, you hear this. Um, it's a very short message, message that seems to be cut off in the middle. Is upon us, but I command you, but I command you remain. Witness my power, how a lot, a lawsness, petty wrath is but a flash compared to my strength. Take my final word to your grave, and let and let its memory be the last thing you. And it repeats that same message over and over. Oh, uh, Roxy, repeating repeating Roxy starts repeating it, and she's like, "Hey, Quadrule, uh, you got it? Any knowledge of history? I mean, this seems really familiar. But like I said, mace to the head. I really can't remember a lot." 
Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna roll, but I guess I'll, I'll help you out with what I know. Um, you are are not. It seems to be you're not familiar with it. Um, okay. is the perhaps it is an enigma, a lost piece of history. Are the book and glaive removable, or are they part of the statue? They're part of the statues. Okay. Hey, can we have Tangle do a perception to see if there's anything that can be moved or buttons to push or anything like that? Um, there you go. There are, are there buttons? no buttons to be pushed. Or, or statues to like move, or, or glaives to, to pull, books to open, eyes to poke. <laughs> nope. All right, sounds good. All right, peace a, out. Just a illusion that is slowly faded I, over the years repeating it does message it, over and over it doesn't appear to be a, a ghost type of thing it appears to be more of an illusion yep. it's an illusion yeah it's that you, you uh, uh roxy you definitely get a strong sense of a high level or at least the person who casted this was extremely high level so we in a museum um. <laughs> uh does an 18 spell craft say anything um no <laughs> All right, well, that room's useless. Luca, you've got an illusion. He's like in you right now. It's so gross. I like it. You like the way it feels? Yes. Um, so I'm gonna stealth into this room. Okay. This one. So, yeah, to the uh, uh, east. The, the door's got to open first. So let let me open the door for you, and if you want to okay. sneak in, so yeah. I'll, I'll throw open the door and I'll throw it open. Both of them as loudly as I can. Okay. So Wait. Tangle, you look, like, uh, you, you look oh, over at Crawl and give, you know, he, he says that he's going to help you stealth in there by opening the doors, and you nod agreeingly, and all of a sudden he bashes the door open as it hits the stone <laughs> behind him. But well, alas, over here. <laughs> it, it it matters not as the room is empty. This room <laughs> contains three low tables, their tops covered with a strange and chilling selection of tools, saws, and long-bladed knives, and objects Ooh. whose purpose is not readily apparent. A strange collection of bones <laughs> lie near the southern table. Too many to be one skeleton, too few to be two. Hmm. That's in the bones. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma drink the marrow. I don't heard. have a detect evil up, but am I getting a evil vibe from the room at all, or just nothing really not at all? Really, you see, um, bad things have happened. It to seems you. any evil yeah. in this room. I mean, you detect evil coming from the south. Now that you turn on detect evil, I oh, I I I, I, I was going for an evil vibe. I I don't actually have. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh. you know what? Let me um. Oh, it's I don't fine. know if you want me to kill a spell or something it's like all that. Good. Don't worry about it. My bad. Um, Let's get the creeps. You Skins do not get crawl the creeps. Up. Oh, okay. Is there um, anything of value in that room? Yes. Yeah, the, anything of value. Surgical tools seem to be exquisitely made. Um, they seem Is there any skinning to, knives? Uh, yes, there's flaying knives and all sorts of other surgical tools like scalpels and such. Uh, sitting on the easternmost table is an object that, upon closer examination, isn't a tool at all. It appears to be a silver and gold seven-pointed star. One surface is studded with nodules and blades. The other features a thin, curved handle. Roxy cast detect magic. Um, it does not appear to be magic. So basically, it looks like one side's like studded and flat, seven point star, and then on the other side is like a handle that's curved. It yeah. that could be the star that fits in the south door. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nice. Um, all right, Roxy takes it. And she's like, "All right, well, I'm going invisible." Oop, can we split Roxy. up the surgical tools? Um, well, with our surgical we tools, if Muka takes. I'm taking a skinning knife. A skinning yeah. knife. Uh, then the tools are only worth about 80 gold pieces now. What are the sure. tools, though? Anything that Quadra could use for interrogations? I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're just medical supplies, basically, for surgical uses. Like blades and corkscrews. And, and there's scalpels. like clamps and uh, others and the like. 
I mean, sorry, right? If I take all a speed, right, all right. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, I uh, I Roxy turns invisible, and then oh, yeah. she pokes the then she uh, plants the, the other star thing to the door. Okay, okay. Time out. Yeah, we we don't want. I mean, if you're going to be invisible, we shouldn't all be standing in the door. <laughs> mm-hmm. good, good idea. So, so we can pull uh, out. What's the weight of the tools? Because I didn't hear anybody else pick them up, so I'll pick them up. Like two pounds, one pound. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, Back get here. out of the doorway there, Mocha. All right, man. I'm not happy about this. I hear We're going in. All right. Yeah. Back yeah. Invisibility. He's got. You know, Quadros. I really feel like not Tangle excited. should go in behind. You know, Tangle wants to go in behind Roxy. It's still. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm probably stealthier than you like this. I got uh, plus forty let's... for standing still. So. Hey, Tangle. Uh, if you want, we both we both have stealth skill, uh, what? so we could follow up. Oh shit! Exactly. Do, 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 you know, do, you never saw Roxy, that. <laughs> Roxy, Tangle turns to Roxy and she says, "Roxy, you have told me before not to be rash in battle." Or, all right, you know, all right. So Roxy I am going turns with Tangle you. invisible too. There, we're invisible. Okay, Quadril will. Quadril is ready to go before Mooka, Roxas, or Coral because he has stealth skill. He'll go in. After I'm the just gonna poke lane. this to the door, and then I'm gonna retreat. You can go in there if you want. Do you put it to the door and retreat? Yep, I poke it to the door, and then I I take several steps back. Thanks, Angle. It sticks we... into the door. That's my stealth skill for when I have to rush in there and save their asses. And nothing happens <laughs> as you just stick it into the door. Oh darn. So it must take. Uh, a okay, I look at it and the shelter on. These things have got to go together. Um, there is a handle on one side of the Sahedrin room. Oh, oh! Roxy sticks it in there and as if it like a, a key. Gives it a turn. Okay. <laughs> and then she steps back. Come on, Tangle, step back. Oh, uh, uh, Jessa, when you're invisible, you get another plus twenty. If you're moving, if you're standing still, you get plus 40. So congratulations, you have a 59 stealth check. Okay, well then, then I have a 66. Yes. No, you're not invisible there. I don't think. Yeah. You only oh yeah, them. I'm not. Never mind. 26 is still pretty good though. And I'll I'll be ready to rush in after you, ladies, okay. if you guys are deciding to um, do that. Give me. I move. I move, so I only get a 22. Ha 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 ha. Give me a hot second here. All right, I'm getting a beer. One second. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Beer uh, check. I want a beer. I already have one. Oh. I love invisibility. It's such a cool spell. So remember, Tangle has a 59. I have a 40. Oh, no, that's way too high. Sorry. No, no, not you. Sorry. I should mute myself for a second. I talk you to talking myself. about me? See, okay, so the, the spell invisibility turns you invisible. If you're standing still, you get a plus 40 bonus to your stealth checks. If you're moving, you get a plus 20. So that turns a total noob like Roxy into one of the stealthiest characters in the party. Right, but can't, yeah, I guess they have to roll pretty damn high to find a standing still person. Yeah. Because, you know, if you're moving, you're making sounds, but, you know, it's hard to tell where the sounds are coming from. But if you're staying perfectly still... <laughs> nah, still seems pretty good, man. What? I just, uh, just worry about you, you know? We care, dude. <laughs> I don't want you to die, bro. <laughs> Matt would have to be metagaming to throw something at us with a perception check high enough to protect us. The doors start to open as Roxy turns the handle and flees back wildly, revealing a large fire in the middle of the room that smells of hair and is very humid. 